Hello, I have been trading options for a few years. When I started, I found it very difficult to find the simple basics all in one place. Sort of options for dummies which we all are at the beginning. I am by no means a guru so do not take anything I say as investment advice, and do not enter any positions based on any one or two videos you find here. Options have a lot of moving parts but once it clicks for you, it's pretty simple. So stick with it, you'll enjoy it. When you sell a put option, you are giving the buyer of the option the right, but not the obligation, to sell a specific asset, in this case a stock, to you at a specified price, called the strike price, on or before a specified date, called the expiration date. In return for selling this option, you receive a payment, called the premium. Selling naked puts is my favorite, but we will circle back to that. If the buyer of the put option decides to exercise their right to sell the asset to you, you are obligated to purchase the asset from them at the strike price. To clarify this a bit, buyers and sellers never know each other. If a buyer exercises an option is completely random which seller gets exercised. You will never get exercised if the option is out of the money, meaning the stock price is above the strike price. Or, in the case of a call option, the stock price is below the strike price. If you allow an option to expire even one penny in the money the brokerage will automatically exercise it, so it is a great idea to never let an option expire. Unless it is a naked put and your intention is to own the stock. If the market price of the asset is below the strike price at the time the option is exercised, you will find yourself owning 100 shares of stock with a value that is less than what you just paid for it. Of course, you collected a premium when you sold the option so that must be calculated in. If the market price of the stock stays above the strike price, the buyer of the option will not exercise their right to sell the asset to you and you will keep the premium as profit. Selling a put option is a way to generate income and potentially profit from the option premium, but it also exposes you to the risk of having to purchase the asset at the strike price if the market price falls below the strike price. There is one great way around the risk of owning the shares and that is to sell what is known as a credit spread. More on that in another video. To tide you over here is an image of a cute penguin. With all that being said, naked puts are my favorite strategy, at least in a bull market, it's a bit sketchier in a bear market such as we are in now in January 2023. The key to naked puts is to make sure you sell the option on a stock you actually would feel good about owning, and at a strike price you feel good about owning it at. Another thing about selling naked puts that separates it from selling naked calls is much lower risk, therefore much lower capital requirements. The risk on a naked call is theoretically infinite, because there is no limit to how high a stock price could rise. A naked put risk however is limited because a stock price cannot fall below zero. The follow-up to naked put options, if you end up owning shares, is that now you can sell covered calls against those shares. Some call this the wheel strategy. More about this in another video. Thanks for watching. If you found value here please like, leave a question or comment below and consider subscribing.